Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, good evening, teacher. Hi, Manuel. I can listen to you that you now are better. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, I feel better now. I mean, that's great to hear. So it means like you you can now participate in everything, right? Including, you know, like in, in, in the class activities and, and, and all that, right? Okay, thank you. That is great news, man. That is great news. And how have you been? What have you been doing? What have you done this week? And today I was working in my in, in my office. I I write a report today and and last week and I was working in the platform English class. <laughs> I mean that's great to hear. That is really great, guys. Yeah, I've been working there. Actually, okay. I, I want to, I, I, I do really want to see the progress of each one of you guys. I haven't, I haven't checked that. I have been so busy that I haven't checked the progress that you have had. But I guess you are up to date. You are not behind. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm just loading that, that platform. So that's good, man. That's good that you're back, Manuel. Glad to see you again, okay? All right. Thank you, teacher. Okay, perfect. So good evening for everybody. I hope you guys have had a good weekend. I hope for the ones who, you know, like don't work, who have had a good rest, you know, like rela relaxing time and everything. On the other hand, I would like to add, to say I'm sorry for the ones who work on weekends. <laughs> I am included in that because I'm working on weekends as well. So uh, it's a little bit tiring sometimes, but yeah, it's part of our, you know, like daily routines, right? So to, 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 to. guys, for the ones who are going to be active, please try to, to, to turn on your cameras because we really feel alone in here. I mean, just imagine four people with the cameras on and all of you guys with the cameras off. Eh, it's not fair, right? So I hope you're like, you know, with your cameras on at least, please. Okay, so I'm going to start with the attendance list, guys, just to start with the class, okay? Um, Carmen Eugenia. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Is she here? No, nah, she's not here yet. Christian Alejandro. Okay, so he's not here yet. Daniel Arquimedes. Present. Okay, great. Daisy Maricela. Present. Okay, great. Elwin Alexander. Present. Okay, nice. Edwin Vladimir. All right, so Edwin is not here yet. Estela Mabel. Good evening, present. Hi, good evening. Fatima Adriana. Present. Okay, good. Fatima Lourdes. Present, good evening. Good evening. Okay, good, you're there. Jaime Antonio. Good evening, person. Hi, okay, perfect. Eduardo Jose. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's not here yet. Carla Lisset. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Kenya Cecilia. Present. Okay, nice. Uh, Lorena Beatriz. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she is not here yet. Manuel Antonio. Present, teacher. Okay, <clears throat> good. 
uh, Maria Gabriela. Present. Okay, so just there. Mary Raquel. Hmm, Mary's not here yet. Noemi Betsabe. Present. Ah, okay, nice. Osbin Alexis. Present. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. So let's just start, you know, with uh, with the contest that we're gonna be, you know, discussing tonight, guys. But before starting with that, uh, how was your weekend, guys? At least for the ones who got the cameras on, I can see some of you like, I don't know if you're relaxed or you're like still like stressed. I have, I have, I have seen different faces in here right now. And uh, for example, with Noemi, did you work this weekend, Noemi? Um, yes, I work in whatever uh, time of the day. But this week, I I work at home. I have a lot of things to do. I I went to went out um, uh, three days, and it was very hard, really. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, I yes. can't tell when you had to go out like that. Like, uh, yeah. It, it tends to be difficult. <laughs> okay. Yes. I mean, you look like kind of tired. All right. What about you, Daniel? Did you work this? Um, hello. Hello. <laughs> Good evening. Um, no, really, no. This weekend I was all day. On Saturday, let me see. I, I repair my car at the morning. Um in the afternoon I rest the rest of the, the day. And Saturday I went to the church and rest in the afternoon. I rest all my weekend. I mean that's great to hear. Jesus. Yeah. I would like to I would like to have a day like that. <laughs> Common my commonly my Saturdays, I go to work from eight to twelve, then I come back to my house. And I start working at three. Now it's a three, no, a two. And I finish at 11 at night. And the same routine on Sundays. The only difference is light. On Sundays, I don't work in the morning. It's just in the afternoon and part of the night. And on Monday, starting with the whole energy to start the week again. Okay. Uh, and you, I see. Okay, I get some rest. I don't work on weekends. Ah, you don't work on weekends. That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I guess you spend uh, the whole weekend in your house. Yes. I mean, that's great. Okay, that's mm -hmm. cool. That's cool to hear. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Carla, are you there, Carla? Hello, yes. <laughs> what about you, Carla? Did you work this weekend? Um, only Saturdays. But I spend, I spend some time with my family and yeah, resting as all my classmates. <laughs> all of my school. <laughs> um, okay, good. At least you have some some rest. And you, Gabby? Gabby, are you there? Hi, I'm sorry. Yes, I was washing um, dishes. Uh, I have rest that whole weekend since Friday, I think. So it was a, a really good long weekend. And I spent some time with my dog and my grandma. Just um, do nothing, almost nothing that whole weekend. Oh my God. So that's why you're, you, I feel you with a lot of energy. 
That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. All right. And you, uh, Osbin? Rafael, sir. Osbin, you got the microphone now. <laughs> okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. My Saturday was was nice. Um, and working in my home in my home. Uh -huh. And sometimes I rest all day. In the morning, I went to the church. Uh -huh. And the in the late I rest. I watch a movie. Was nice. Yeah, I mean that's cool to hear. So you had a very relaxing kind of relaxing uh, weekend. That's great. What about you? Uh, let me see. Jesus, I got some, I think a couple of listeners today. Okay, uh, Christian. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Uh, well, I always rest on weekends, so I try to spend time with my grandma and my family. I mean, that's great. That's really cool. Uh, that's 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 nice. Like when, especially you don't have to be like working on weekends, right? Okay, good. And the last person I'm gonna start. Well, I'm gonna finish with uh, Jaime. Hi, uh, good evening. Good evening. Um, I don't work in, on weekend, but um, I have many activities. Um, for example, just, uh, the, start, the Saturday, um, I training with my daughter and rest until in the afternoon. And yesterday, we we going to, we prefer. <laughs> We, we were in tournament in San Jose Villanueva. Ah, and, good. And, and we won the, the tournament, the third place. Ah, really? Man, that's great. Yes. It's really cool. And, I bet him it was it was very good. <laughs> and and now the Monday, I have so tired because the, the, the weekend is very hard. Ah, yeah, I mean, I can tell, I guess. That was really hard. Okay, baby, that's great. That's great. At least you have a good time on, on this, this past days. That's great to hear. Okay, guys. So uh, tonight, we are going to continue with part of the topic that we were just discussing last class, guys. If you remember, we were doing a lot of discussions related to one specific topic. Do you guys remember what was the topic or the main topic that we were discussing last class? What was the last class about? We talked about logistics. Ah, okay, very good. So we were talking about logistics, but inside logistics, there is a, there is an external provider that we were practicing and we were discussing last class. What was the name of that provider? The third party logistics. Exactly, third party logistics providers, right? So in this case, we're gonna continue talking about that, okay? But with an approach of how to choose Okay, like the right third party logistics provider. So part of the class, we wanna focus on that. We're gonna have, uh, you know, some working activities in the manual, guys. And before doing that, I would like to show you something, like some prompts that I got in a presentation, give me a second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I got this one. 
Okay, as a requirement in here, I got that tonight we're gonna be discussing or basically doing a review and practice of vocabulary related to seven R's as well as three PL, um, you know, logistics provider. In that case, a provider. But in this case, we're gonna focus the most on 3PL. Why? Because it's like the most relevant topic that we have been discussing, right, in the past uh, two days, I think. So let's start with this, guys. I have in here a couple of questions for us to discuss. And I would like to everybody to help me out discussing these questions. These questions, you can find them in the manual. Okay, so we got that one. The first one is pretty easy because it's the one that we were practicing last class, guys. Okay, and according to what we were doing and discussing last class, guys, what is 3PL? According to what we were reading and discussing last class, what is 3PL? Any idea, guys? I don't, I, I don't ask to you at the exact meaning, but I want ideas, guys, of how you understood this last week. I don't it's want to kind of business. Okay, cool, Gabi, let's go. It was, it was a kind of couple of business that you paid to them to, um, and they um, pick the, your products, they organize them. They have a warehouse also, if you don't have enough space in your in your um, store. And mm -hmm. also they send it to you when you need it to, to your store. That's what I remember. Okay, very good. Yeah, I mean, that's what basically is 3PL, right? Third party logistics, in this case, provider. Let's remember are those companies who basically offer services of transportation, storage, and other different, um, you know, sources for companies who need, you know, like to move product from one place to another or need to storage product, right? So that's like, uh, you know, like the main function of a third party logistics provider. Now guys, the second question. Uh, Daisy, help me out reading, please. The second question. How do you pick the right 3PL for your business? Ah, okay, thank you, thank you. And Jaime, read the last one, please. Is price the most important criteria to decide on the right tip three PL? Okay, good. Thank you, sir. It says, is price the most important criteria to decide on the right three PL? Okay, guys, listen. I have discovered something on you. With me, you're like kind of, a, you know, like uh, not trying to speak most of the time, but I want you to copy this, this, these two questions, the last two questions that we got. Take notes, or I don't know if you have in your hands the, the manual. If you have the manual, I want you to go to page 21. If you have your manuals, guys, Go to page 21, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna stop sharing right now this. And I want you specifically go to page 21, okay? And if you see on the part where that says, let's start, you will find these questions that I'm telling you right now. Listen, what are we going to do? Since with me, you're kind of, uh, you know, like uh, absent when I'm asking to participate, and I don't know why, 
because you're at the beginning of uh, the classes, you were a lot of participants. Let's do something. I'm gonna send you in a couple of groups, okay? I, I, I will make a couple of groups and I want you to discuss this, these two questions, guys, among you. So probably among you, uh, may have more confident and you feel more, you know, that confidence to, to practice more than in front of me. So, and you will gather more ideas from your classmates. So let's do that. I will send you to work in groups of three, discuss these questions, and then we're gonna come back again in here. And then you will have an idea about this, okay? <laughs> and the next time I ask, you won't turn off your camera and your microphone, right? So in that case, that's what we're gonna do. Eduardo, welcome Eduardo. Uh, can you participate, Eduardo? Good evening. Good evening. Of course. Okay, perfect. Give me a second. I just need to see. Lorena is as a listener. Uh, da, 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 da. Who else? Carmen Eugenia. Okay, so Carmen uh, won't participate. Who else is as a listener? I know everybody, right? Uh, Fatima Artiga, can you participate? Because I see you got the word listener there. So I don't know if you can participate. No, I was I was as I was um, telling you if you can participate uh, in the class or are you as a listener? Ah, yeah, okay, great. So if you can participate, just uh, Lorena and Carmen are the ones who are as a listeners. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna create this manually. So I have an idea about who it's in here. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect, guys. Let's enter to the breakout rooms, guys, and let's discuss these questions. When we come back, you're going to give me your ideas as a whole group, okay? One and two. Uh, Edwin Alexander, uh, can you participate? You there? Okay, perfect. So he joined. Yes. yes. He say but what is the uh, Mr. Carlos? Yes. Uh, please clarify what's question because of for me I I don't sure. Um, what special we need to discuss? Okay, it's on page, I said it's on page 21, where it says, let's start. The first one, it says, how do you, listen, how do you pick the right 3PL for your business? And the second one, is price the most important criteria to decide on the right 3PL? Those ones. I want, you to, I want you to discuss your points of view, guys. How how uh, would you do that? Okay. Okay. Only only this question. Yeah, only those questions. I uh, I was asking okay. those questions in in the 
in the general group, but nobody wants to participate. So maybe in here in the breakout rooms, you among you participate more than with me. <laughs> so I can listen to you guys. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, thank you for clarifying. All right, perfect. Okay. In my case, I don't know what this means, 3PL. <laughs> Please, you can 3PL. help me. It stands for, do you, uh, were you in the last class, uh, Daniel? Yeah, right? Or no? No, no, I was, I was a listener. One, you, were, you were the one who, who was in El Seguro, right? Now I remember. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, yeah. I was in the class last, last uh, Friday. Okay, Daisy, you were in the class, right? Yes. <laughs> Daisy. According to what you understood, the, the, according to what you understood, what is 3PL? 3PL. Yes. It's a firm to different uh, process for contract uh, the company for I don't remember. I don't. <laughs> I don't know how to I sent you, explain. I, I, sent, <laughs> I sent you directly to the lions, Daisy. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, listen. <laughs> 3PL stands for third party logistics providers. Third party logistics. That's a third party logistics. What is a third party uh -huh. logistic provider? It's basically companies whose main function is to provide, uh, for example, transportation mm -hmm. services, storage services by offering warehouses, um, by offering their facilities. They offer uh, systems of packaging uh, products and everything to other companies that, for example, probably don't have uh, uh, transportation services for their products. Okay, uh, so, so it's like outsourcing. Exactly. So it's basically that. Uh, it, it basically, hiring a third party logistics company, it's outsourcing a third party logistics company. Exactly. It's the same thing. Outsourcing and hiring, it's synonym of it. Okay, so if you understand this about how a third party logistics provider works, it, that that's all about right are companies that basically uh, serves the function of providing transportation to companies with products that don't have uh, those services right that's a third party logistics oh, okay okay good so based on that let's discuss this ones okay let's suppose you three have a company okay take that uh, as I started for, for the discussion. So the first the first question is uh, how do you pick the right three PL for your okay okay the now first... we can change we can answer the questions I think okay uh, are Bob well... and Daisy having problems to storage their product I think they they have problems to store their products. Yes, I think so, because uh, they to take uh, to thinking in, in another in another uh, way to sell more. Guys, one question. Yes, yes and that's storage. But what? Guys, one question. Oh? Where are you in? Number one. The number one. Are Bob, they, are Bob and Daisy having problems to store their products? Ah, uh, I mean, I mean, you were reading the conversation. Yes. Uh, no, guys, you uh, are not reading the conversation. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What, what is that? What the, 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 the... No guys. no guys this these are the questions that i want you to discuss <laughs> this ones this ones look can you see my screen 
Ah, your picture, right? So the thing is that I I posted. What page is the? Uh, it's on page three. It's 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 right uh, above the conversation. You were reading this. Are Bob and Daisy having problems to storage the product? Uh, okay, move a little bit up. Here, here, this one. The thing is that I was asking okay. questions to to the general group, and nobody wants to wanted to participate. So what I did is like to spread the group, and probably among you guys can participate more, right? And have more ideas, so I can listen to you. <laughs> All right. So, ah, okay, yeah. it's an open open answer, right? Exactly, exactly. This is for you to discuss, basically. Right? Okay. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you. Number, number one, let's start. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh... Bro, but but the the transportation is 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 important. Yeah. For for the product. <laughs> And and distribute and distributor and different and different markets or I don't know. Yeah, customers. Ah, okay, but it's not direct to customer. Is is yeah. A distributor. The product is the the stores. Yeah, I think. I mean, a customer can be a market or can be uh, a a store. I mean, it can be, but it's called customer business or something. Some business. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. And your example is the the bimbo. Bimbo is distribute distributor of the products. Is the different market and um a small store. And, yeah. And different uh, and different. It's. A store, a store gas station, but but all, all. Yes, I think. Okay, you start. Okay, there is no more room in our house for more of your organic shop. So, don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? Okay. I found something called third party logistics on Google. This service could help you out with the storage. Guys, one question. Kim. Did you discuss the questions I told you? Yes. yes the... only, only are practice. We are practicing. Oh, okay. Uh, you're, you're just practicing the conversation right now? Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Yeah, because I'm coming from a group that misunderstood my 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 instructions and they were answering the <laughs> the questions that are below the conversation. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were yes, we practice on the at the way finish. Ah, yes. okay, perfect, perfect. There you go. Okay. okay. And factors like Hello guys, did you discuss the like, questions? Hi. Hi. Yes, Where we are doing the second. The second. Yes. The second. Yeah. How do you pick the the right triple? Ah, okay. Perfect. 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 According, let's point, let's, let's focus on, let's suppose you have a company and you need a third party logistics provider. How will you do to choose the right one? Put it in, 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 that, in that context. Okay, I don't teacher. know how business. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, how do you think the right three people for your business? Uh, listener. The let's continue the the, the the last question. Is the price the most important criteria to decide the order right to be held? The price. I 
in my case, I think the price no is is a point that no, no for me it's not as important because I need a good ser a good service doesn't matter the price. I think in my case, but what you just what do you think, Christian and Daisy? Um, the price it's it's not the, the most if, if we need only the transport the prepl uh, is is a more lower cost i think yes you need to evaluate all these uh, items uh, because if you have a, a storage a storage place you can only take a, a third part logistic in only the distribution uh, with the but your ex your explain is th thank you carla i i understand okay. I'm, I'm just a bear right now <laughs> <laughs> there was a picture that the teacher uh, showed us. And that was, you know, that kind of helped me <laughs> to understand that too. It's, it wasn't that easy to understand that yet. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so we finished. I you guess. guys done? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Now I am ready to listen a couple of opinions in the general uh, meeting. Okay, good. Okay. Let's go back, okay? Okay. Okay. Now, guys, <laughs> you're coming with a, with different opinions. You're coming with, uh, you know, like a wide range of ideas about the, you know, like the questions that we were uh, asking. Okay, so now I think you can give, uh, you know, an opinion to me about this. So I'm gonna share this again. Uh, let's start with the second one. It says, how do you pick the right 3PL for your business? According to what you discussed with your classmates, who wants to help me out with this? Who wants to be a volunteer? Me. Okay. Okay. Uh, in the first one, uh, well, what is the 3PL? 3PL is third-party logistics. And how do you pick the right 3PL for your business? It's probably the most important criteria to decide the right 3PL. I think uh, the most important is that the 3PL is, I don't know if it's Acoplate, 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 I don't know, acoplace in English. Uh, you, you can change it to accommodate. Okay, accommodate. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, need to be accommodate to your, to your, to your business or your product. Uh, like my partner, Mabel said, uh, if you only only need a a, 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 a person who distribute distributed the product in the uh, to the customers, you can take the service of or or if you need a, a storage place, you can take the service the the storage place storage place. Uh, or if you don't have anything and your product is very good, your product is is selling like like gold 
uh, you 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 can take uh, all the all the services. Uh, the price is not the most important thing, but is 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 something important. But uh, you can uh, uh, compare the the price. Then you how can you earn with this service ex, extra service? I think we need to to understand that before uh, uh, we choose the 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 triple service thank you okay good thank you for your participation eduardo somebody else no, eduardo help me choosing one <laughs> that's the way we're gonna move on faster it's gonna be a couple of participations what you doing <laughs> what fatima <are> lourdes <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Hi. I was working with Jaime, and uh. we think that the first thing I we have to do is to evaluate my needs. Like, mm -hmm. if I need a storage, I need transport, and my resources. Like, if I have the money, etc. Second. I have to do a research, research like an investigation okay. about what companies offer me their party logistics service and mm -hmm. to know their factors like price, price, the benefits, times of delivery uh, and other factors like experience, capabilities, then I can do interviews with the companies, evaluate their response, their, their answer, mm -hmm. and select the best, which company offers me the best. I mean, great. Very good, Fatima. Okay, excellent. All right, Fatima, help me out reading another person. Daniel. Okay. Daniel. Okay. Uh, my classmate was uh, Daisy and Christian. Uh, we was a cordial. Uh, uh, the, the, how do you fix? How do you fix the right repair for your business? Uh, the most important for 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 uh, for we are huh? for me was experience and they say they say the same mm -hmm. um christian say the same things mm -hmm. uh, they was agree with 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 me other thing other point is the customer service the service is very important too uh, for me, be be loyal uh, when the the the, the, the service is, the company is a loyal. If they get our service for my company, I think it's a point very important to be loyal. And other thing is the security, mm -hmm. the security in other parts. In different place is very necessary because you need to be safe in your product. Too. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it's the price. The, it's the price. The most important to try to to decide the, on the right CPL and really know. Uh, the three we we are agree that the no the price is the most important. It's not important. If uh, if the company uh, uh, gets get us uh, the most important and necessary to points to serve to serve us. Okay. That's right. Okay. Very good. There you go, Daniel. Now, Daniel, help me out choosing the last person to participate on that. <laughs> 
the last person on the list. <laughs> Mr. Flores. Flores, Flores, Flores. Asvin. Hello. And Asvin is like, ah, oh, man, you chose me. <laughs> yes, um, we, we discussed with my classmate, Noemi, and in the number one, Arbo and Daisy have a problem to store the product. And we agree. And it's just because Bo and Daisy don't, they don't have a space in, in their house for keeping your organic soap. Oh, but uh, Ospin. Yes. Are those the questions for the conversation? Excuse me. Are those the questions from the conversation? Yes, and we practice the conversation too. And uh, just by any chance, uh, did you did you discuss the the previous questions before the conversation? Yes. Ah, okay, give me the opinion from that one, from that one, because in the conversation, um, uh, then we're gonna go over that and the questions. <laughs> I guess you 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 did it already. So <laughs> yes, uh, the, in yeah. the number two, um, in the or discuss uh, when uh, do they know a lot about three P Rs? And we we are according that they they don't they don't know about the three PRs um, because uh, they are searched in Google. Mm, okay, okay, <laughs> all right. There you go. Yes. Uh, you, you told me that you were participating with the whom? And Noemi, right? Yes. <laughs> Noemi, you can say the number three. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Go ahead, Noemi. Uh, we discussed about the conversation in the book, but <laughs> about this 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 question, 3PL is a, a can be a company that they provide different kinds of services for mm. complete for complete. Um, and necessities uh, for the company. Mm -hmm. uh, the correct, the correct uh, form of select maybe if when you know about your necessities, for example, uh, some companies, um, they have necessities about uh, transportation of, or maybe um, storage for your product and the first, the first um, step to select a good um, a good company for provide these services is that you know what is your necessity. Uh, the price isn't the most important criteria to decide because some companies only have um, prices too high, uh -huh. but the service the services um, are not good. Wow. Um, I know some companies about, <laughs> but but the necessary is necessary, it, to, it's necessary to know maybe uh, some company that you you complete your necessities. Okay, yeah, I mean, and, and they probably they are trustable, right? That's another thing. Yeah, I mean, you, this is your feel, right, Noemi? <laughs> so I guess you feel comfortable talking about this? <laughs> a little. <laughs> a little. Okay. You, know, you know what is this about, right? Okay, well, that's cool on you. That's good cool on you. Enjoy this, this, what, four more days because we're going to be talking about that <laughs> before changing up. Okay, there you go, guys. Very good.
So because we need to to you know like to to be discussing other things, we're gonna try to move on, guys. And uh, we're gonna be doing that. When we got something to discuss, I'm gonna send you in groups so that way you you practice more. I have, I have seen that even people who got the cameras off have been practicing more. That's great. That's the idea for you guys to practice. Now, guys, how to choose a third party logistics provider? Uh, here I got a, a, a some quick steps, you know, like to take into account in order to, you know, choose the right provider. And the first one it says, do your research. What is do your research about? Gabby, help me out reading. Do your research. Whether you're selecting your first 3PL or changing providers, look for a company with proven processes, the right resources, and the ability to int integrate with your systems. Okay, very good. How do you understand this, guys? Do your research. Whether you're selecting your first 3PL or changing providers, Look for a company with proven processes. It means an established, uh, you know, and well-known uh, company. It says the right resources and the ability to integrate with your system. I mean, you know, like that, what do I really want? That has to be done, okay? How do you understand this about do your research? I'm gonna go straight to a couple of people. In this case about doing the research, what do you think is about uh, Kenya? What do you think uh, this is about? Whether you're selecting your first city for or changing providers. Look for a company with proven process with the right resource and the ability to integrate with your systems. I do understand that. Yeah. What? Any idea about this? What is this about? Mm, maybe when you have one provider, but you don't want to work more time with that provider, then you have to look for others. Mm, okay. Okay. Good point. So in that case, we can change provider, right? Okay, thank you, Kenya. Now, Eduardo was raising the hand. Okay, Eduardo. Yes, I think uh, this process research is a process that we do uh, every 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 time that we need to to spend our money in something. <laughs> For example, if you if you if you want to 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 buy a a cake huh? uh, i think we in, in my personal op opinion i'm going to three stores that they sell sells uh, cakes mm -hmm. and i choose the the best price the best ingredient ingredients uh -huh. and the best looking uh, best looking i think if i i i found in one store uh, three or 
two or, of these uh, options, uh -huh. I choose this for for me. I think this is the research, the, the process that you do to finally take one provider. Okay, very good. Yeah, basically in here, it's like the first thing that you got to do when selecting something or when selecting, in this case, a company, right? You have to do a research. You have to look for information about that company or those companies that you probably have on the list in order to become partners, you see. You have to choose one that you can really trust on. And of course, right, that, that gives good results. Okay, very good. Now, let's move. Yeah, what's wrong, right? Yeah. Establish a partnership. Okay. It says establish a partnership. Christian, help me a reading. Uh, sure. Today, sophisticated logistic solutions require a high level of communication and data sharing. Find a TPL you trust with a compatible culture and value. Your partner should take time to understand your supply chain priorities. Okay, your supply chain priorities. Okay. Hey, what it says? It says establish a partnership. Today, sophisticated logistic solutions is as require a high level of communication and that is in data sharing. It says, find, it, find a TPL you trust with a compatible caring, I mean, culture and values. Your partner should take time to understand your supply chain priorities. Interesting, right? Yeah. Carla, how do you understand this one? Establish a partnership. Yeah, maybe that we can, you know, a partnership is, I mean, I would say like, it's when you have, or that when you know, um, like other, I would say kind of other companies or something that maybe you can trust in and maybe uh, you know them. So when the more you know them, you know, the more then maybe you can trust or maybe you know that they are going to help you. And that, you know, you, you kind of, you know, you kind of have your kind of circle, something of people that are companies that you know that they can help you or that you know that they uh, yeah i'm gonna i'm going to help you maybe with your needs or something with your company or something like that you know like <laughs> kind of thing i think okay all right good point of view thank you carla let me see who else has already participated Mm -hmm. Jaime, I'm going to listen for you and then we're going to move on. What do you understand about establish a, com a, a partnership, Jaime? Um, establish a par partnership. Exactly. It's a, to, today's sophisticated logistic solution required a high level of communication and uh, that sharing. Mm -hmm. Find a uh, TPL you trust with a uh, compatible culture and values. Your partner should take time to understand to to understand your supply chain priorities. Um, uh, um, and how do you understand that part? In the first one, and uh, the communication is the the first point uh, of uh -huh. um, 
because the oh I don't know <laughs> okay it don't work in the no no problem no the, problem okay uh choose any of your classmates to support you with that okay sorry I don't work in the in the service or or ah, you you were or, not <laughs> no problem okay no I, I work in the other radio area. <laughs> ah, okay, no problem. All right, let's let's okay. uh, give me a name. A name, okay. Um, Mary Raquel. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Good evening. <laughs> Mary, like, I ah, mean, I'm just starting. <laughs> okay, Mary. What do you understand about this? Um, I understand we have to talk about uh, the concept. I'm sorry, I'm late. Today uh, it was my anniversary, <laughs> and I and I got to to dinner. <laughs> hey, congratulations! Thank you. <laughs> this is great. Yes, but I understand that teacher. I don't know. Is 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 I have to 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 talk about the um, definitions or or, no, or yeah, I mean, what, what, what do you what do you understand about this in a general way? <clears throat> okay, I I I I could uh, read, and I think um, is like um, it like a way to share information. Uh, uh for the companies and provider, and maybe like a systems to control um, the inventory and maybe um, the purchase uh, or the or the service with the provider. Mm -hmm. No, okay, there you go. So this basically mm -hmm. that's a, establishing a partnership to you. Okay, good. So let's remember, guys, that in this case, when you are doing a research, uh, generally what you need, right, when establishing relationships between companies, basically you required, right, a company that is on top of everything, or, or at least most of the thing. One of the main ones in here is like the communication, right, and data sharing. Data sharing, it means, for example, uh, let's suppose the company is about uh, providing trailers, right, with products. As there is a couple, a certain amount of time in which those trailers are checked, you know, uh, just to know if they are going okay on the road, if they are on time and everything. So just imagine if you, establish a partnership with a company that you don't have any kind of update from them, especially from drivers. So in that case, uh, you don't know if something have happened already or, you know, a situation uh, uh, that might uh, occur and you don't have to, the time, you know, like to provide a solution, right? Like right away. So in that case, that's just like all about when establish a partnership. You have to think about all that. Okay, so that's like uh, establishing a partnership. Now let's move. Okay. Now, the next one, it says, look for a range of offerings. Okay, let's see what is this about. Look for a range of offering. Edwin Alexander, could you help me out reading this one, please? Okay. Look for a range of offerings mm -hmm. the more helps you obtain from a single provider 
mm -hmm. the more seamless mm -hmm. and scalable, scalable. 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 your supply chain will be with a range of capability, capabilities, comma. Uh, capabilities. Capabilities. Uh -huh. uh, PL can customize, customize. customize a solution to meet your needs. Okay, thank you, Alwin. So in this case, guys, listen, the more help you obtain from a single provider, the more seamless, seamless in this case is like transparent, okay? Seamless and scalable your supply chain will be. So in this case, what do you think, guys, is this about? Look for a range of offerings. What do you think it's that about? Any participation, guys? Okay, I'm gonna go strike for the one who got the cameras off. Osby, any opinion on this, Osby? Okay, I think he's not there. Uh, let me see, somebody else, Christian? Hello. Uh... Well, I think that is when you have to select a uh, TPL, you, you have to make a, a meeting, for example, and they have to do it an offer on a comprehensive suite of logistic service. Uh, that's include um, transportation, uh, a warehouse, um, packaging, something like that. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, good. Help me at choosing one of your classmates. Uh, Manuel, I guess he wants to talk, I guess. Uh, okay, Manuel. Uh -huh. Okay, look for a range of offering. I think so it's about when the when the a lot of company offering the the different products for satisfies the other company or their or their customer. Mm -hmm. Maybe. No. Okay. <laughs> no. okay. The key. <laughs> no, you <can laughs> Listen. The key. It's it's in here. The more help you obtain from a single provider. The more seamless and capable uh, and scalable your supply chain will be, it says. With a range of capabilities, a 3PL uh, can customize a solution to meet, your needs. to meet your needs. Can customize a solution oh. to meet your needs. In there you got, guys, okay. uh, a key for that. Okay? Oh. Listen up. What is the meaning of seamless? You you wanna you wanna say something? Uh, I, I have a question. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of seamless? In this case, it's like more transparent. It's giving you the meaning of more transparent. Okay. Oh, teacher, in this case, is the the look for a range of 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 offering for TPL is when the when the company uh, meet meet meet, meet uh, for for different uh, oh my god I don't know I don't know say I, I don't know remember demands is solutionary 
to give a solution? They, they give the solution for the, the, the same company. The, mm -hmm. ah, okay, I got you. So in this case, guys, it's basically, remember, if you're choosing a company to work with you and mm -hmm. you're spreading up, okay, with your product and you are, you know, like uh, getting to other places with your products and everything, mm -hmm. you have a lot of demands of products and everything. The company mm -hmm. that you are working with as a partner, they have to, you know, like help you out, okay? How to provide mm -hmm. solutions in that case uh, to, to, to your needs. And in this case, your needs, what, what are your needs to deliver the products, right? To mm -hmm. places. So in this case, this kind of companies can help you up, you know, like to organize yourself how to do with the logistics process, right? Of transporting, okay. of packing, or, or, or doing whatever it is needed, right? For your product to be delivered, all right? So in this case, okay. that's what it talks about. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, great. Now let's go into the next one. Ensure your 3PL has a robust technology. Hmm, robust technology. Noemi, help me read. Hi. <laughs> um, your provider should offer advanced technology solutions. You may not need such sophisticated systems right now, but your business is always evolving. Okay. Is evolving or evolving? Evolving. evolving. That's the word. Okay. 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 Noemi, what do you think about this? Oh, what's your opinion? Mm, I think is um, your partnership is necessary have uh, the technology adequate. I don't know how to say it. Uh, oh, adequate. Adequate for for do the process that the company the company need. Uh, because in these days, all the companies work with with internet, and um, it's necessary that the 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 three PL company have have the the um the tools necessary to 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 give information on time. Exactly. Okay. Very good. Nowadays, if you had noticed, uh, Noemi, companies are not using just only uh, the common GPS or Google Maps. They have a special a special trackers. Uh, different companies they use uh, their own uh, uh, trackers just for you know like um, the people who transport the products, like in this case the drivers are the ones who are giving constant updates about where they are, how they are going, if they are on time for the places that they're going to. So in this case, I mean, uh, the technology, okay, it's, uh, you know, upgrading and evolving. So as well, the companies, right? So they have to be constantly upgrading on that aspect just to provide, of course, a better service, right? Let's remember that now, most, most of uh, the, what, the fields in any job or at any work, internet is something really important. Internet, I mean, it's in everything, right? And yeah. if you are just not, not getting updated, so you are getting behind, getting behind, and you know, like you're uh, becoming old fashioned. <laughs> That's the word, like old fashioned, right? So it's to constantly be, you know, like upgrading ourselves on that. So just look at it. 
back in the past, uh, the classes were just all, all you know, presential. And now we have uh, online things, thanks to the internet and tools that help us to communicate to you and your houses. I and mean, in my home, all right, at home, everything relaxing, all right? So, and back in the past, we couldn't do that. So, yeah. technology basically is everywhere now. And of course, in this kind of uh, um, fields, it's not the exception. All right, and the last part that we're gonna be discussing, seek stability. Snap, seek stability. Estela, help me a reading, please. Okay, seek stability. When you partner with a PPL, your interest is down with your brand. So it is important to find a company with a long story of proven success. Mm -hmm. Good. How do you guys understand this one? Listen, when you're when you partner with a TPL, right? You entrust. Listen up. You entrust them with your brand, the product that you are, you know, selling. So it is important. It says to find a company with a long history of proven success. Do you think this aspect is really important? If you say yes, why? In your opinion, please. Teacher, I, I say yes, because mm. um, the experience with another companies to say a lot of the, the quality of the service. And this is, uh, important for um, the trust and security. Your product is uh, come in good conditions. <laughs> is your money? You have to take uh, take care of your money. Exactly right. Okay, very good. Any other participation? Nobody wants to say me. Okay, good. Mary, help me out. Choose one. This is going to be the last participation. Okay. Yeah. Let me see. Um, Daniel? Okay, good. Okay. It's my third participation on this question <laughs> in my opinion i think it's very important i know <laughs> but i didn't know a lot of things about that but i will try to interpret okay seek stability i think is a point very important to if you have a business because um when the company have is was working for a long time just mm -hmm. uh, i think you need to uh to find stability uh, uh, stability to be uh, to have a stability because uh, your product will be safe need be safe um um you need to be honest in truth in in this and uh, this company in this company i think mm -hmm. Only that. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Daniel. All right. Let's remember that if you are giving away your product to, to companies that you don't really know what will happen, probably you and the provider that is the customer that you're dealing with, probably you, you guys can have problems if you don't find a good provider, right, to transport or do the logistics process for your product. So in that case, that's really important. That's why it's really important to seek stability with a company who has very good levels of trusting, right? 
so you can rely on this on this company and feel comfortable all right so in this case that's that's uh, this focused on right on seeking stability there you go guys so these ones are just a couple of you know like uh, ways to take in consideration when choosing a third party logistics providers all right so in this case now let's turn back to the manual okay so you were discussing this guys now after discussing this, we have a short conversation here, okay? Let's try to practice a short conversation, guys. And uh, then we are going to answer this couple of questions that we have in here related to the conversation, okay? So let's start. It says, this is a conversation between Bob and Daisy. It says, Bob. There is no more room in our house. Listen, there is no more room in our house for more of your organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? Don't you think it's time all right, to take business out of the house, I found something called her party logistics. I found something called her party logistics on Google. This service could help you out with the storage. Okay, now Daisy says, I don't think so. I don't think so. Bob, as far as I know, listen up, as far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party service. The business is not big enough to hire a third party service. It says Bob, to the best of my knowledge, to the best of my knowledge, the soap is selling like crazy. And I believe it could help us to sell more. Daisy says, well, I was actually thinking, listen, well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging choose a couple of those companies from the internet and then we can talk i mean we can call them to get some advice all right guys from here do you have any question related to this vocabulary that you got here Guys, everything is okay with this conversation? Yes, I think. Perfect, perfect. Okay, here you go. Okay, let's continue guys, let's continue. Okay, guys, listen up. We're going to go practice this here conversation. As soon as you finish with this, let's start exercise three, guys. This one. It's just three questions uh, related to the conversation, okay? And give me a sec. I'm going to send you to. Hola. Hola, hola. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, good. Let's continue. I thought it was on me. Uh, give me one second. I'm gonna recreate the breakout rooms because you are too much people in here. I'm saying you to work two and two. All right, guys, let's open up the breakout rooms and let's go to practice that short conversation. Uh, Fatima, Elwin, do you have problems to, to enter? All right, so everything is in. Fatima, what about you? Fatima, you there? Can you participate, Fatima? Okay, so... To the best of my knowledge, the soap is selling like crazy, and I believe it will help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging, choose a couple of those companies from the internet, and then we can call them to get some advices. Uh, switch. I, I will start. Okay. There is no more room in our houses for more in your organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third party logistic on Google. This. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. Try again. Okay, <laughs> okay. I am Bob. Okay. There is no more room in our house for more of your organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take the business out of the house? I found something called third party logistics on Google. This service could help you and with out with you the storage. I don't think so, Bob. As far as I know, the business is not big and hire a third party service. To the best of my knowledge, the soap is selling like crazy. And I believe it, I, it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually 
thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. Okay. What am I doing? Practice. You there, Fatima Ratiga? Hi, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, she can practice, so uh, include her place in the conversation, okay? Okay. There you go. Okay, thank you. Nice. We are um, here in Tipriel. Do you think? Maybe. Yeah, I think they will. Yeah. They will consider prices. Maybe because they are selling the stuffs and maybe they are rich, <laughs> but they have to consider uh, the prices on hiding a 3PL because I think that they don't have the resources. Maybe, I mean, they have it, but uh, I don't, don't know about something. But is if you know, you don't don't look in Google. <laughs> yeah, but but and they don't know they don't know how they don't know they don't know how it appears because it's they they don't know. A lot of trip. Yeah. Okay. Not, not specific in the price. Yes. Uh, they are they are um worry. Uh, uh, they are um looking for they are looking for mm -hmm. um uh for no sé si I'm not sure if uh for advices or oh yeah they are looking for ad uh, for advices not and yes. not thinking about the price yet. Like this or we can uh, not 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 uh, uh, probably you could add uh, uh, not thinking about the price yet or um they yeah. will uh, they will search for it or i work in GLC. Okay. in glc el salvador is a company the of logistic. Ah, it's about We're that. We finished it. <laughs> it's about oh, the class. Okay. And I was wondering, <laughs> hey, why, why are they talking about, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great, that's great. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes, I, we practice a lot of the conversation and we were closing again the question. <laughs> it means that you previously were working on this one, that's why, I mean, that's great, that's yeah. great. That's right. Teacher, I believe I, I believe that uh, when you asked me, uh, it was about that. <laughs> about this one. <laughs> 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 we think we didn't discuss at that moment this thing. What was uh, actually what was the name of the company that you're working for, Noemi? The name uh -huh. GLC El Silva. Ah, logistico de carne. Ah, but the, the, you're in charge of logistics and everything. Yes. So what's, uh, what's your import? Uh, import assistant. Import assistant. Ah. Ocean, ocean import assistant. Because we have separated the department of uh, air, import, mm -hmm. and export. 
Ah, yes. So basically, you work with programs. <laughs> um, no. No. I I work with platforms for the we we are um represent mm -hmm. of agent in all the world. We we work with expeditors and peel global and we we have um an office in Miami and is the the most growth parte in el vida strong a strong okay. business yes oh that's great that's great because i'm asking because yeah. i also am more working with a logistics company yeah but in this case as a remote area you know location mm, but I'm yes working, but i'm working with programs i'm working with uh you know a, a couple of shits and i uh, in my case, is because the departments are separate. Uh -huh. uh, uh, the, for example, uh, aduana customs, uh -huh. they they work with the Sidonea. They work with uh, I don't remember the names, uh, but all, all the programs of the government. Uh -huh. But in my case, I only uh, work with the system and the platforms. For the for the representation for the agent. Ah, okay. No, in my case, I work, uh, but but the, the the logistics, it's it's just an internal logistics. It's not uh loads that are coming from another country. No, it's it's it's. Terrestre, how do you say terrestre? Uh, yeah, by land. Uh, yes, by land. Uh -huh, exactly. Uh, I, I I work on that, but it's just inside the United States. I mean, from state to state. Yes, in my uh, case, I I export uh, some cases for only Central America. Ah, okay. I mean, that's cool. No, we, in the, we have a trans trans shipments for these countries. Ah, I mean, that's great. That's cool. Yes. But uh, basically, only import import for for products uh, to from to Miami. Ah, and you have loads every day. No, we have two two containers every week. Ah, oh, man, the job is like a, a, a little but bit heavy, uh, a little bit heavy, but uh -huh, it's more 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 control on it, right? Yes, in my case, it's because um, I work with a low container, less container, low. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. Yes, and every every container has maybe 20, 21 customs, oh. and I have to, to give following for every, every client. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I mean, it's pretty interesting. Yeah. You, you, you do. Yeah. No, I mean, in, yes. my case, in my case, I had to be calling drivers. I had to be calling dispatchers. Uh, the, the receiver, basically. The the the, the, the shipping. Uh, oh, my God. The shipper, in this case, where trailers are getting loaded, where trailers are getting delivered. Oh, my God. It's a lot of things. And sometimes I had to ask for... Uh, the the current location of the trailer because they got their GPS their special GPS, but sometimes the GPS doesn't work so we gotta call them <laughs> and let's say hey what's up why why don't you have the the tracker uh, with you I mean where are you in right now, and sometimes they say I mean uh, hey look the the load I mean the the, the road is closed because of the snow or because of something so it's going to be open until tomorrow so. In your, case, huh? in your case, it's because the, the truck has have a time for deliver the, 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 the products. Yeah, they have a, a in my case, I can choose this time. And <laughs> it's because no it's not depending for me, it's uh -huh. depending, for example, the the chip the chip company mm -hmm. or the sometimes uh, the 
the chip company has delayed um, a lot of things. Uh, for example, today I, I have a container that they have a um, um, review in port and they have to, to open the, the container and review piece for piece for uh, it's like a PNC anti narcoticos like that. Jesus. But in Just Guatemala. Imagine. Just imagine a yeah. container, how much they have and, and, and pieces by pieces, they have to check everything. Yes, <laughs> yes. But in this case, we have a agent in Guatemala uh -huh. and they go to take, take uh, photographies and has a report for every container that we have to review. Oh, I mean, that's cool, that's cool. That's really nice. Yes. Yes, it's, it's, it's interesting because every day we have uh, um, a new stress. <laughs> exactly, exactly. A different <laughs> stress. <laughs> yes. Something yes. to stress for. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. Some days uh, I work on Sunday at home. Because the the cheat company called me and the container has a problem in port. But the, for example, in Guatemala, the port never close. They mm -hmm. uh, work every day. And in this case, I have to work this day. Or maybe I have to 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 coordinate a security for for the, the clients. Or maybe have problems in 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 frontera. How do you say frontera? I don't remember. Never. Uh, the border. Uh, sorry. Border. The border, for example, when I when I send the 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 trucks for Guatemala or for Nicaragua, some days I have problems with this with this dispatch. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's really cool. Exactly. And then I have to, for example, I have to, to do the invoices for the clients and I have to the, do the payment to the shipment on the trucker or the security of the agent. And I, I have a lot of things to do. <laughs> exactly. You got a lot of functions to do. Oh, man. Yes. I but but I don't like to do reports. Uh, I in use. Yeah. It's a bit I have to you have to be detailed. Have, oh yes. I have to do reports every day, but normally I present it uh, every Monday mm -hmm. and at the end of the month. But I don't like it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's tedious. It's tedious to do that, I guess. <laughs> yes. But anyways, it's part of the job, work and there's no other way, right? <laughs> yes, it's true. It's uh, true. All right. Um, so, when I have to to uh entre entertain no um entrenar uh train 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 a new people. I don't like because. I um I lose a lot of time with some people uh, and I don't have questions. <laughs> oh my god, that's uh, yeah. I don't know. Tell, yeah. Especially yeah. for people who don't really get the, 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 the instructions yes. very quick, right? Yeah, sometimes this year, this year in January I had the, the, the a girl. Mm -hmm. The girl um supposedly she she knows about import and export and all but when they when she um send emails or um send reporters uh, always have uh, mistakes has mistakes yeah. and I have to check and resend and talk with the with the with the security, for example, of or the client of or the cheat company, for for um, amend so all the things. 
so so it's basically you're like reworking what she what she does yes and yeah. in this case is 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 more difficult check again every everyone everything but, exactly uh, but it's part of the job <laughs> <laughs> but so, I, I don't like it really oh <laughs> uh, yeah i mean i can't tell i always i always talk with the with my boss mm -hmm. because i don't like to train any new people i don't like mm -hmm. I, I'm not. I'm not. But I guess you're the, uh, the most appropriate to do, to give training, so that's why they put you there. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh my God, I can't tell, man. Jesus. All right, guys, it's barely close to the time, so I want to listen to you that conversation in the main section. Okay, let's go back. Okay. Okay. you see guys i don't know uh if i got that feeling that when you go to work in pairs or in groups and you're coming back you're coming like kind of happier because you have been uh, sharing uh, more with your classmate privately sometimes because i'm not there so you can talk <laughs> not only about the class but uh, getting to know your classmates that's really cool Something that you cannot or you don't dare to do here, right? In the main sec the main section. That's really nice. Okay, I'm gonna share the manual conversation. And I want the first volunteer pair. Who wants to be the first one? Who wants to break the ice? Who wants to say, me, teacher? I want to be the first one. We can be the first one. Okay, cool, Christian. Who do you work with? I was working with Daniel. Okay, perfect. You can start. Okay. There is no more room in our house for more of organic soup. Do you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third-party logistics on Google. This service could help you out with the storage. I don't think so, Bo. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third-party service. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, the soap is selling like crazy. I believe it will help us to, uh, to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Daniel and Christian. You did it excellent. Now, thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me see. Mary. Let's go, Mary. Okay. Who, who are you working with? Uh, Maria Gabriela. Okay, good. Uh, would you like to be Bob? Okay. Uh, there is no more room in our house for more of your organic soap. Do you, don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third-party logistic on Google. This service could help you out with the storage. I don't think so, uh, Bob. As far as I know, the business is not got, is not big enough to hire a third party service. To the best of my knowledge, the sub is selling like crazy, and I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Uh, choose a couple of those companies from the internet, and then we can call them to get some advice. Okay, very good. There you go. Thank you, Mary, and thank you, Gabby. Now, who can be the next one? Let me check. Kenya. Let's go, Kenya. Who are you working with? With Manuel. Okay, great. Okay, Abo. 
there is no more room in our house for more of your organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third party logistics on Google. The service could help you out with the storage. I don't think so. But as far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a temporary service. To the best of my knowledge, the shop is selling like crazy, and I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. Okay, great. Thank you to you both, she did it excellent. Now, Stella, who are you working with, Stella? With Erwin and Fatima. Okay, let's do something. Uh, let's do it first with Ospin and then Ospin with uh, Fatima, okay? Edwin. I mean Edwin. I'm sure. Okay. Yes, but. Yeah, okay. Sure. Okay, I'm Bob. There is no more room in our house for more of your organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called color third party logistics on Google. This service could, could help you out with the storage. I don't think so, Bob. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party service. To the best of my knowledge, the soap is selling like crazy, and I believe it will help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking uh, of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet, and then we can call them to get some advice. Okay, great, thank you, uh, Stella. Now, um, Edwin, help me out with uh, Fatima. Okay. If you want, I can do it. Okay, perfectly. Let's do something. We're gonna end up on a circle. Listen up. You have been practicing with Edwin, right? So now, Edwin will do it with Fatima and Fatima will endorse this to you, okay? like the circle, okay? So in that case, everybody will have uh, uh, both participation. Okay. Uh, uh, so uh, Edwin is Bob, then I de I'm Daisy, and then um, Fatima Bob. Uh, no. Like no. that? No, 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 no. For example, you had just practiced with Edwin, right? Yes. So Edwin was acting like Bob, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Now, Fatima can I start now acting like Bob and you, Elwin, like Daisy. Then Fatima will work with uh, Estela and Fatima will do the function of Bob and Estela as Daisy or vice versa. Okay? Okay. Good. Okay. Let's do the practice now with uh, Fatima, Elwin. Uh, Fatima, you can start. Hi. Okay. Um, there is no more room in our house for more of your organic soap. Do you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third party logistics on Google. This service could help you out with the search. I don't think so, but as far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party service. To the best of my knowledge, this soap is selling like crazy. 
and I believe I could help us help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of those companies for the inter from the internet, and then we can call them to get some advice. Uh, okay, perfect. There you go. Now, Estela, act like Bob and Fatima like Daisy. Okay. And we're finished. There is no there is no more room in our house for more of your organic soup. Uh, don't you think it's time to take business of our out of the house? I found something called third party logistic on Google. This service could help you out with the storage. I don't think so, Bob. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party service. The best of my knowledge, the shop is selling like crazy. And I believe it call it could help help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of our outsourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet, and then we can call them to get some advice. Okay, perfect. Thank you to you three guys, Elwin, uh, Estela, and Fatima. Now, um, who's missing? Osbin and uh, Noemi. Okay. Let me you start, please. Okay. There is no more room in our house for more of your organic stuff. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third party logistic on Google. This service could help you out with the storage. I don't think so, Bob, as far as I know. The business is not big enough to hire a third party service. To the best of my of my knowledge, the sub is selling like crazy, and I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet, and then we can call them to get some advice. Okay, great. Thank you, Osvin and Noemi. Now let's move on. <laughs> Who's missing? Let me see. Eduardo? <clears throat> Hello. Who are you working with? I'm working with Daisy. Okay, great. Let's go. Okay, I'm Bob. There is no more room in our house for more of your organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third party logistic on Google. This service could help you out with the storage. I don't think so, Bob. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party service. To the best of my knowledge, the soap is selling like crazy. And I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of sourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of those company from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. Okay, great. Thank you to you both guys. You did it excellent. Now, who's missing? Mm -hmm. Fatima Lourdes. Who are you working with? I know you were not working, actually. Jaime. What about uh, you? Just with Carla. Okay, good. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> there is no more room in our house for the more of your organic soup. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called the party logistic on Google. This service could help you could help you out with the storage. I don't think so, Bob. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third-party service. 
the best, the to the best of my knowledge, the soap is selling like crazy, and I believe it could help us to sell to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet, and then we can call them to get some advice. Okay, great. Thank you, Carla. And uh, Jaime, very good. Wh who's missing, guys? Who's really missing? Kenya, did you participate already? Yeah, right, you participated. Okay, great. Let me see, Manuel has already participated. Okay, I guess everybody has already participated. Now, guys, let's move on to the last part. Mary, help me read in question one, please. Okay. Are Bob and Daisy having problems to store their products? What do you guys have? I wanna listen one of the answers that you got. I think uh, the, an the answer is they don't have problems with the store yet, but maybe in the future they have problems. That's why they are uh, talking about three-part logistics. Mm -hmm. They don't have pro problems yet. Okay, good. Yes, not yet. Who has something different? Uh, they don't have space enough for his product uh, okay good. I think they, they they have a, a big problem you know, it's not a big problem but they have a problem because see they having enough space to get their say organism all right good so in this case um, okay. it's not like a huge problem like uh, Eduardo, but in this case, Eduardo, they don't have enough space, Eduardo, anymore in their house. Uh, but Daisy is is talking that uh, she said that it's not a, a great problem. <laughs> Just imagine, Eduardo, in your house, your wife is is uh, making soaps. And your wife has your whole house full of soaps. <laughs> and just your room, it's available for you. <laughs> and every time you enter to another room, you see <laughs> a whole room full of soap. Okay. Probably, I understand. <laughs> probably for your wife is not a problem, but for you. <laughs> you say, okay, okay. Take, take, take your product out, man. We need a storage, <laughs> an extra storage. So you see, in that case, it's okay. a problem, right? Okay, there you go. Now, good guys. So in that case, uh -huh, uh, they don't have enough space, right? Good. Uh, the next question, uh, Kenya, help me read in the next question, please. Number two. Okay. Do they know a lot about three PLs? Okay. Do you think that they really know about the three PL process? Uh, for me. They know, but not a lot. Not a lot. Okay. Yes. Okay. Somebody else? Yes, because they found uh -huh. something about that in Google. <laughs> okay. Okay. Actually, actually, yes. the one, the one who, uh, who who mentioned it, it was Bob, right? Because Daisy didn't actually know about that. Yes. Right. Okay. Okay. Good. So. They didn't know that much, right, about that. Okay, let's go straight to number three. Mm, Christian, help me out reading number three. Do you think Bob and Daisy will consider price when hiring a 3PL? Do you think they, can, they, they will consider the price when hiring a 3PL? And the price is referring not to the product, guys. It's what they are going to pay to the company. What do you guys have? Any, any anyone? I think yes, because uh, they they are not big that they should be, 
Mm -hmm. That's why they are thinking about um, companies who don't need more money that they they have. Uh, okay, all right, yeah, all right. They have they had to think on uh, how much money they they are planning to invest. Obviously, right? They had to look for a good three uh, uh, PL, but they have to consider how much they are planning to pay. Otherwise, the business won't work, right? Because just imagine if you're paying a lot of money to companies for the transport of the products and everything, and uh, your profit or your incomes are not good. So in that case, it's like not a good business, right? All right, there you go, guys. So I'm gonna start sharing this. And basically now we have been discussing how to choose the right 3PL, okay? When talking about, you know, like companies that we really might need uh, for our businesses. All right, guys. So I'll go ahead and pass the attendance list because I don't want to have you like for a long time in here uh, as an extra time. So... That's going to be everything for tonight, guys. Give me a second. I'm going to pass the attendance list. So let's see. Carmen Eugenia. So she's, uh, let me see if she's there. Yeah, she was there. Uh, Christian Alejandro. Present. Okay. Daniel Arquimedes. Present. All right. Daisy Maricela. Present. Okay, Elwin Alexander. Present. Okay, good. Elwin Vladimir. So Elwin Vladimir didn't show up tonight. Estela Mabel. Present. Great. Fatima Adriana. Present. Okay, Fatima Lourdes. Present. Great. Um, Jaime Antonio. Present. Great. Eduardo Jose. Present. Okay, great. Uh, Carla Lisset. Here. Carla, uh, with you, uh, I had the 10 minutes feedback with you last uh, Friday, right? No, no. We haven't, no. Had, we haven't had the 10 minutes feedback, right? No. Okay, we're gonna have it today with you, okay? Okay. Great. Let me see, Eduardo. Okay, Eduardo's here. Uh, Kenya Cecilia. Present. Okay, great. Lorena Beatriz. She was there, but she's busy at work. Manuel Antonio. Present, teacher. Okay, great. Maria Gabriela. Present. Okay. Noemi Betsabe. Present. Okay. Mary Raquel. Present. Okay. Osbin Alexis. Ah, oh, Osbin is the one that is missing in here. Okay, guys. Thank you for getting connected, guys. And uh, let's see you tomorrow, okay? In another video conference. I hope you have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Sleep tight, guys. All right, um, this couple of minutes, Carla, it's just basically uh, to clarify any question, any uh, doubts that you can have related to maybe this class or previous classes. 
or something related to the platform, right? The idea here is like, if you have any of those doubts or questions to clarify the everything in here. So Carla, I don't know if you have any question related to the topics that we have been discussing and we have discussed. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I think I don't. Why don't you know? Check. <laughs> I mean, I think I understand everything. Uh -huh. And when you ask me, I think I don't. <laughs> because <laughs> I know, I don't understand everything you said. And in the platform, uh, I finished all the homeworks, I think. So... Really? I don't have... Yeah, I think, I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, to, I need to. Uh, it was it. last Friday, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's cool. That's cool. Let's see how much you have done. Give me a second. Okay, I'm please curious. show me. <laughs> I, I'm curious about that. Yeah, I mean, I will. Yeah, please. I will show you right now. Let me show you. <laughs> okay, let's see. Carla, 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 where Carla is? Carla, Carla said. Okay, you have exactly, you had 96% the last yeah. week. Yeah. Yes. And 100% this week. I mean, that's great. That's yeah. really nice. That's really nice. Yeah. Um, Ah, you did the midterm already. That's excellent. Yeah. <laughs> okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. There you go. So I think I understand everything. I mean, business topics are not, you know, I barely understand, but what you said about what we, you know, have so far, I understand it. Thank okay. you. <laughs> Let <laughs> I will I will tell you something, and uh, this will sound funny to you, but actually it's true. <laughs> you know what? I, 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 I sometimes don't understand the topics that I'm gonna teach, and I have oh to my God. and I have to do research. I mean, I have to search <laughs> information and everything. I imagine because sometimes I mean the topics are you know related to the industry, related mm -hmm. to terminology, yeah. vocabulary. That probably I don't manage. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> I had to, you know, like uh, study previously in order for me to uh, to explain to you. I imagine that clearly. <laughs> I I understand actually this this topics from this week because mm -hmm. I am working in a logistics oh. company, so I have an idea from the terms and everything, you know, like the management. Yeah. So, but for example, the topics from the last previous weeks, like the seven hours and, and everything related to that, I didn't know anything about that. So I had to <laughs> a lot of work just for me to, you know, like explain better. Yeah. yeah, I mean, sometimes it's kind of difficult to ask teachers. And, I, and that happens. Yeah. So we have to, you know, like study. <laughs> yeah, you have to. <laughs> But thank you for that research. <laughs> yeah, we can understand yeah. better. Yes. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the idea is for you to understand it. Not only that, I mean, you know, practice as well. So that's why I have taken the idea of sending you guys to the breakout rooms. So in that case, you can, yeah. in a personalized way, you can, uh, you know, share ideas and uh, and talk to your classmates. Because if yeah. you have been in the general group, when I ask. <laughs> Everybody, so shy. <laughs> cameras, yeah, they turned off the microphones and nobody's here in the class. Yeah. Like, hey, man, somebody can participate and nobody wants. Mm -hmm. But every time I send all of your classmates and you to a breakout room, <laughs> they are discussing. Everybody's it. talking. <laughs> exactly. Every time I, I go, you know, like I'm on the breakout rooms, they are speaking, they are talking. Uh, and, and sometimes they finish the discussion and they start talking yeah. about other things. Other things, <laughs> yeah. That's, interesting. That's pretty interesting. That's I think really, yeah. I will be doing that more often. So 
you that, because they being here remember it's just to practice practice yeah practice uh, no, not probably exactly about uh, you know everything related to the topic but yeah the idea here is like you to gain to, to, you know fluency to practice the vocabulary yeah, the you know, yeah. exactly getting better with the vocabulary even though the topics yeah. sometimes are weird but eh, you know the practice yeah really matters <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I do really appreciate that you have finished uh, the homework from this uh, week and last yeah, week. Yeah, thank week. you. Yeah, man, and, and and you know, like if you want to 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 if you have the, the space and you want to continue and you understand the future yeah. uh, homework, go on. You can do it. Okay. In unit three or, or what? Yeah, if you if you understand the topics, how they it's ready. Are Is it so, ready? Hmm? Is it ready? The 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 hungers in unit three are there. Yes, they are. I haven't there, seen right? them. I think <laughs> ah, I didn't see them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can you can you can work on them. I mean, uh, the the idea for the platform is for you to practice. All right. Yeah. yeah uh, so, yeah, it's there. Look, we got here. Ah, warehouse. Jesus Christ. Mm. We're gonna be talking about warehouse. You see. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, we're talking, <laughs> talking about logistics. So you see, this is. Oh, okay. Right, I'm so going to see if. Ah, uh -huh, just check it. And... I will wait. Uh -huh, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, when you have, right. you know, a time. Because now you're done okay. with the ones from this week and, and the midterm. That's great. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> That's really great. Exactly. Thank so you. in that case, my suggestion is, Carla, every time uh, you don't understand something when I'm explaining, don't hesitate, turn on the microphone and, and just tell me, hey, teacher, look, I don't understand this part what you are explaining. Can you explain that to me again? And I okay. can we'll do it, okay? Because the idea, it's like everybody to understand, you know? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Carla. And now I want, let me see, what time is it? Hey, Jesus, it's late. So, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> not anymore, so uh, you can rest, Carla, okay? Thank see you. you tomorrow. <laughs> see you. Okay, bye-bye, Carla. Bye. Bye-bye.